is your PC CPU usage continuously stays at 100% usage even when nothing important is running? In this video, you will see seven reasons why your CPU usage is at 100% continuously. Task Manager Errors and Glitches Upon opening task, Manager initially, you'll likely observe sporadic spikes across various metrics, which is a typical behavior of the Windows Task Manager. Occasionally, the Task Manager may experience display errors leading to inaccurate values for metrics ranging from CPU usage to memory. Despite its occasional bugs, Task Manager remains a reliable tool for quickly assessing and managing CPU temperature. The reliability of Task Manager is most evident after its initial launch when it may exhibit some instability. While these quirks are a long-standing aspect of Windows technology, there's generally no need for major concern. The usage goes down within a minute or so. Background Processes Every single program you run uses some of your CPU's processing power. Some programs keep running in the background and continuously consuming your CPU. This could be caused by anything from too many open tabs in your favorite web browser to a bunch of open but minimized programs. Performance tuning and gaming peripheral management software can also be spiking your CPU usage. These programs typically stay active even when not in use and can contribute to higher than desired CPU usage numbers. So open the task manager here in the process tab. You will see the apps running and the background processes. Carefully observe the processes here and end the processes with heavy usage. Note that you cannot simply close the all the background processes. Most of these are essential for your system to work, so you should search for the processes on the internet to know whether it is safe to close or not. Buggy software. In a perfect scenario, software would efficiently utilize your CPU's power. However, occasional outliers can monopolize your computer's processing, leaving you puzzled. Google's Chrome web browser, despite its user-friendly interface and rich features, is infamous for being a significant CPU resource consumer. Even with the few tabs opens, Chrome can consume your whole system resources. Similarly, there could be any program that is consuming system resources that it should, so you should check the task manager and identify such program. You can uninstall them and look for alternate options. Malware infection. One of the most alarming reasons for CPU usage spikes is malware infiltration. Viruses and malicious software are frequently employed to seize control of your computer's processing power, resulting in significant spikes in CPU usage. These cyber threats can transform your device into various malicious entities, such as a hacker's crypto mining rig, referred to as crypto jacking, or a participant in their botnet, causing a drastic surge in CPU usage. If that is the case, you should scan your PC with good anti-malware, preferably the anti-malware that comes with offline scan. You can use the Windows Defender offline scan also and remove the identified threats. You should also practice safe cybersecurity while being online, such as always use complex and unique passwords for your online accounts. Don't download software from pirated sources. Don't click on the link received in email or on social media. Do not open the attachment if you don't know the sender. Install a good anti-malware software, keep it up to date, and regularly scan your PC. Antivirus software. We previously discussed how viruses and malware can impact CPU performance, but it's worth noting that your antivirus software, while essential, can also contribute to CPU strain. This hinges on the software settings. If you notice excessive CPU consumption, go to the settings. Adjust the scan frequency, review configurations, and assess your firewall setup. The more proactive your antivirus is, the greater the CPU usage it demands. Customizing these settings can optimize performance while maintaining effective protection. Also, some antivirus come with lots of features, or let's say bloatware. These features might attract you, but they have very little usage, and they keep consuming your system resources. So, you should use an antivirus that has less bloatware and do the intended task of the antivirus, which is catching the threats. Heavy gaming. Gaming puts pressure on your graphics card, memory, and CPU. If you're playing the game, you will see the usage spikes. Sometimes the game you play keeps running in the background and you will see heavy CPU usage. 
Excessive CPU usage during gaming sessions shouldn't typically pose a problem for a gaming-oriented PC designed to handle such demands. However, if elevated CPU usage starts to adversely affect your overall performance, there are a few steps you can take. Live streaming, chat applications, and screen recording technologies are known for their resource-intensive nature. Similarly, Programs running concurrently with your game, such as speedrunning software that tracks splits and parsing software, contribute to this demand. To address potential performance issues, consider scaling back the usage of these programs, or simply use them when necessary. This can free up additional resources and provide your CPU with the flexibility it needs to maintain optimal performance during gaming sessions. High CPU temperatures and dust. Your CPU is a physical device that can suffer from physical problems. The one big enemy of your CPU that can squeeze out of your tech. The name of this CPU power thief is heat. A CPU that is regularly too hot is going to have much less power than the exact same CPU and computer setup that has adequate heat mitigation. If your CPU is overheating, even simple processes can trash your usage percentage. So what's causing your CPU to overheat? The first thing to check is your heat mitigation. Is your CPU's fan properly seated and running normally? If so, you're good to move on to the next thing to check. Dust is one of the biggest problems when it comes to heat mitigation. Make sure your CPU is dust free and properly ventilated. Use a can of compressed air to remove dust from around your fans and especially remove any dust that is building up on the physical components themselves. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.